Welcome to our video about gum disease and how to heal it. This video will explore the symptoms and treatment options. It will also discuss home remedies and prescription mouth rinses. A dentist can use regenerative materials in a dental procedure to encourage the body to naturally regenerate bone and tissue. Here are some examples of these materials. You may want to try some of these before visiting a dentist. If you suffer from gum disease, you might be wondering what your treatment options are. A dentist can perform a variety of procedures to improve your gum health. These procedures can include surgery, which involves cutting off the affected tissue and then reattaching it tightly. Other procedures involve using regenerative materials to encourage natural bone and tissue regeneration. Your dentist can perform scaling and root planing to remove tartar and plaque from below the gum line. These procedures may also be necessary to treat gingivitis. Some dentists recommend using an antimicrobial mouthwash to fight off infection and keep bacteria under control. Other treatments for receding gums include scaling and planning. Whether or not you need a gum graft, regular checkups are essential to avoiding the condition from getting worse. Signs of gum disease. You may have noticed red, swollen, or bleeding gums. This is a classic sign of gum disease. Healthy gums should not bleed when you brush or floss your teeth. Bleeding gums may also appear after eating hard food. Gum disease can also cause your teeth to become loose or crooked. Your breath may also smell bad. The symptoms of gum disease may be present even in the early stages. If the condition worsens, you might experience bleeding or even abscesses. These are serious signs of gum disease. You may even experience fever and pain while chewing. The infection may even spread to other parts of your body. If left untreated, this condition could lead to tooth loss and the need for dental implants to restore functionality. In either case, the signs of gum disease should not be ignored. To prevent periodontitis from becoming a major problem, visit your dentist at least twice a year. Gum disease is a serious problem and can negatively impact the health of your heart, diabetes, and other systems. Seeing a dentist regularly is essential for maintaining a healthy mouth and a beautiful smile. You can improve your oral health and make it last longer with proper dental care. You can do this by brushing your teeth twice a day and visiting the dentist on a regular basis. One of the earliest warning signs of gum disease is bleeding when brushing your teeth. Inflammation and bleeding will be the first symptoms of gum disease, so it is important to see a dentist immediately. Home Remedies if you are suffering from a tooth infection, you might want to try home remedies for gum teeth. This can be done in a variety of ways, but the most common is to apply ice packs. Ice packs come in a variety of sizes and can be wrapped in a clean cloth or towel. Applied directly to the inflamed area, ice packs may help to reduce pain and swelling. A common home remedy for gum disease is turmeric. Turmeric is known to have anti-inflammatory and antifungal properties, making it an excellent remedy for gingivitis. Simply rub a paste of turmeric onto the gums and leave it on for about 10 minutes. After this, rinse your mouth with lukewarm water to remove the paste. If the paste has no effect, visit a dentist or oral health provider for a proper diagnosis. Prescription Mouth Rinse If you've noticed swollen, bleeding gums, you may be interested in using a prescription mouth rinse. These rinses contain antibacterial ingredients that fight the bacterium that causes gingivitis. They contain a molecule called chlorhexidine gluconate, which kills bacteria and damages their protective covering. These rinses are a good option if you have symptoms of gum disease, but you should note that they don't cure the condition completely. In order to use a prescription mouth rinse, you need to brush and floss your teeth. Remove any toothpaste and other debris before using. You may use the cap that came with the original container to measure the amount. Or, consult a pharmacist if you don't have one. Rinse your mouth thoroughly after using the medicine. Rinsing it out will help reduce the medicine's effect. You should also visit your dentist at least every six months to make sure the treatment is working for you. Flap Surgery You may be wondering how to flap surgery can repair damaged gums. While the procedure itself is relatively simple, there are some precautions you should keep in mind. First, do not smoke or use tobacco products. Both can significantly slow down the healing process and increase the risk of infection. In addition, dentures should remain in place for the first 24 hours after the surgery. 
However, you can remove them to soak them overnight on the second postoperative night. If you already wear oral prostheses, make an appointment with your dentist or denturist so that the fit is correct. To perform this type of procedure, your periodontist will numb the area with a local anesthetic. After numbing the area, the periodontist will create a flap in your gums to expose the tartar. They will also add platelet-derived growth factors to the area in order to help the gums regenerate. After the flap is placed, the periodontist will suture the area closed. This procedure can take several months, so you may want to undergo this treatment as soon as possible. To heal gum teeth with flap surgery, you should be prepared for several side effects. Bleeding, swelling, and infection are common risks of this procedure. You should take antibiotics for at least one week. If you develop an infection, it may delay your recovery time. Antibiotics are also a good idea if you have a recent surgery. You should follow up with your dentist within 10 days to ensure your healing is complete. Thanks for watching.